Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. Today we are going to try and find a few more bits. There's a lot of roaring going on and I was told that that huge, great, big, nasty, leviathan type nasty thing with all the teeth and everything absolutely scared us last time and nearly gave me a heart attack. I've been told that that thing it uses sonar, so if you can hear it, it's already seen you and is likely coming after you. I, this is... I don't like it! I don't like it at all! What is down here? Uh, no, there, there seems to be something here. I'm being careful. I'm being aware that that thing could come out and get us at any point. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fast. We're going to go swimming out here. I'm not going to look. We'll go around here. Go, 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 go. I'm so scared. I don't want to stop. I don't want to look. That thing is so nasty. Okay, we'll stop and look. We'll stop and look. Stop and look. Go backwards. Go backwards. No, nope, he's not there. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. That one over there is just a small tooth thing. Small teethy is okay. Small teeth are okay. We can cope with small teeth. There's several small teeth here, and there's hand sharks over there. But these are okay. I... It's just a game, okay? We, we know that it is just a game. It's right. It's, it's literally just a game. It's not a life. It's not an actual life and death situation. But I can't help but feel while I'm playing this game as though I'm in an actual life or death situation. This is. It's kind of an unusual situation for me. I must admit, I'm normally able to separate the fantasy from the reality a lot more easily than I can in this game. And this game, it genuinely terrified me having that thing coming out of the depths. And I have since, it, it is, it feels almost realistic. It does. And um, apparently you can play this game in full VR. I'm not sure that I want to do that. I, I think that would be... Um, beyond terrifying. It really would. Now, have we got anything down here? No. There's a cargo pod there. I'm just looking around a bit. People have told me that if I want to be able to get some more of the... Ooh! Power transmitter fragment. If I want to be able to get some more stuff, um, I need to look. New blueprint synthesized. I need to look in areas that I've already looked. Why is that? Is that... Is that the peeper. No, I've, I've already gotten the peeper, haven't I? Apparently I haven't gotten him in enough to... Come here. Come here. There we go. Indigenous life form peeper. Um, oh, we got a... Open the supply crate. What do we got? Oh, we got a battery. Probably be glad of that. So yeah, apparently there's... Um, no, I, I don't want to pick up too much stuff. There's a toothy thing over there we'll ignore. Propulsion cannon. I've already got the propulsion cannon. Let's ignore the toothy thing. Um, I need to look. Once I find something, I can look around in access upgrades. This is another thing that I wanted to do. I, everybody was saying, no, it's it, it, on the left-hand side, on the wing. There we go. Crush depth now 300 meters, which means... Let me just leap in here. This means we can go to the cave near us, and we can have a look at that thing that the Degassi survivors left. I'm very pleased about this. I'm very, very pleased. Right, now then, we want to go southwest from the stern of the boat. Um, not the bow, but from the stern. We want to go southwest about uh, 100 meters. Uh, no, a about a kilometer. Hang on a minute. Southwest is that way. Um, that's southwest. This makes me nervous because I'm pretty sure there was a big nasty TT thing. And we want to go about a kilometre southwest from here. Um, and then we should be able to find this. Can you hear that screaming? That roaring? That is trouble. That is trouble for us. I'm sure of it. There is something is going to come after us. But no, we, we want to try and do this. We're, we're going to try and do this. Now, what is down here? Have I got some more bits and pieces, some fragments? What can I hear? I can hear so... I, there's so many noises going on in the background, I am absolutely certain. That's a laser cutter. I've already got a laser cutter. I'm just going to go and have a look over here and just see what is in there. That is another laser cutter. I've got laser cutters. Laser cutters are not a problem. 
Right, let us continue on this way. Continue forwards, and we will see if we can find this... Um... Oh! Oh! Okay, that made me jump. That, that just made me jump a little bit. This game is making me so nervous. I've never been so twitchy and nervous playing a game, ever. I really haven't. And this game is supposed to be like a peaceful, relaxing type number, and it really isn't. It really, really isn't. Um, <laughs> I do like it, though. I do like it, despite the, um, the, the, the nervousness. I, I do like it. It's, there is something about this game that is absolutely fantastic. It really is. Now... We're going into open space here. Those things over there, those things are a bit nastier, I think. Oh, there's another one there. These things. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just nasty all around. Uh, I want to keep going southwest. I can hear all sorts, but uh, I want to keep going southwest. And I want to try to ignore... What is with all the nasty things with teeth everywhere? There's a lot of stuff with teeth. Right, I'm looking around here. I don't see... There's one there that's covered in green. He doesn't look very healthy. Uh, so far, nobody's tried to eat me. I'm taking this as a really, really good bonus. And... Right, there's some bits of wreckage there. But there's, there's something down here. What's this? That looks more like a, a whole... Oh, no, there's... That there is a thorny thing that we got to be I know that we got to be careful of those I'm not sure how I can deal with that um I'm gonna climb yeah see I've, I've got to be careful of that uh yeah I no it's, it's gonna kill me it's gonna kill me um so how can I deal with how can I how can I do that right we've got uh I I've got to be careful because I don't want to lose a lot of this stuff can I get it I don't think I can get it with that one I don't think I could do it with the propulsion cannon. Right, let's just eat that one. There we go. We're back up the full. And I'll eat a bit of the water. Drink a bit of the water. You don't eat water. You drink water. Right. Uh, so let's. we'll just go out and we'll make sure that we've got... I'm going to go up here and go down to that one and scan. Cyclops engine fragment. I'm actually avoiding it at the moment. And now swim fast, swim fast and enter sea moth. Okay, I did that quite well. I, d I did manage to avoid that fairly well. I'm quite pleased with my progress here. So, we're at 180 meters in depth. There's another one of those things. They don't seem to be too fast with attacking me, so... Ooh, I don't know what that was. I'm hoping that was just... What is it? Is it you? Uh, it may have been, it may not have been. I'm not quite sure. Ah! How did you get over here so fast? Right, i got to be careful. I'm down to 44. Ooh. Okay, it's getting really deep over here. Uh, southwest. Southwest is this way. Right, that's really deep over there. West, there's one right underneath me. Uh, where's southwest? Down this way. I've only got 44 left. This is, this is deep. And this is going to be below crush depth. Look at that. Okay, I'm I'm not no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. This is this is too scary. It's too deep. It's too deep. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Life pod over there. That one's sunk down to 250 meters. We could go to that one, I suppose. Um I need to avoid some of these. we we'll, we'll we'll come back to this when we've got something. I think we need to get the cyclops. I think the cyclops is our way forward. That is something that will enable us to to, to um to be able to operate it a little bit more with a little bit more safety I feel look at all these things and these are all nasty things with teeth he's gonna chase me stop chasing me I'm not worth it I'm chewy and tough and very unpalatable you won't enjoy me at all please go away please please go away um where are they oh I got the shale chunks are still showing up on my scanner there's that right those things those things are relatively harmless right uh I, okay we, we're, we're back into relative safety now um i, I don't really want to go chasing after i want that cyclops i think the cyclops is it's going to be a good thing to get if we if we can figure out how to get it we can um right yeah i'm just 180 meters away we just want to we want to go over to that one if i repair this vehicle then we'll see about maybe going deeper but we'll go into that um 
bang. What was that? Uh, that was one of those big fish. We'll see about going down over there into that cave. Something in the cave might be good. It might be useful. It might be awesome. Who knows? We'll see what we can find. Um, but yeah, if, if we try and go too deep over there at the moment, I think bad things are going to happen. So we'll stop right here. Uh, I'll turn that one off. Right. Power is on nine. Do I have a spare power cell? I think I do. This one is not looking very healthy, is it? Now that is a laser cutter. I don't want that one. I want a repair tool there. Take that one. And... Right. Repair you all the way up. So once we've repaired our Seamoth... Go on, keep going. There we go. Right, all nicely repaired. Let's go in here. And we're going to go... Welcome aboard, Captain. Hi. It's good to be home. It's very good to be home. These are all charged. Uh, we, we'll leave those for a second. I've got a new poster that I want to put up first. We've got some important things that we want to do. We've got posters that we want to put up. Uh, where should we put the poster? I'm going to put one... No, actually, I've got, the, I've got a prawn suit there. I'm going up here. I'm going to go up here. This one's inactive at the moment. Uh, it's probably because it's used up all the stuff that it can use. So we're going to go over here. Actually, we'll, st we'll stick a poster here for now. Let's go in here, and we've got, where, where is it? It's the Aurora poster right there. I'm going to put that one down there instead of that, and then I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to put that one right there like that. Look at that. The next phase of Altera exploration. And then we've also got the Aurora miniature. We don't have any other, po oh, no, I do have another poster. I've got natural selection poster. We'll put that one down there as well. And then this one won't fit on that. Oh, yes, it will. But actually, it will overlap the other one ever so slightly. We'll put that one there like that. Oh, I don't like the way that they clip. No, that's that's not good. We'll pick that one up. There, and we'll put it... We'll, we'll have to put it over here. We'll, we'll put it on this wall over here. There we go. We can put that one there. So we've got another nice poster. Okay, those are actually looking pretty cool. We climb down here a minute, and then we will get our new toy. We're going to put the toy over here in the corner. We want the Aurora... There we go. Aurora Miniature. That one can come out, and we'll we'll have to put a shelf up so that we can put these up on a shelf or something. And how do you... Oh, no. How do, how do we rotate? Not E. Uh, is there a way to... Right, well, I'm... Is it shift rotate? Uh, rotate left bracket. I don't get it. Rotate. Left bracket. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's, um, it's that. Except that that is also... Yeah, this makes no sense to me. Why is it that... I don't, I, I don't get it. I really don't. It's, um, it's, it's doing strange things to me because... Oh, right. I can go... Yeah, it's, it's trying to rotate and move the, the, change the, mach the tool selection as well, which is... A little bit odd. That is definitely a weird way to do it. It's because of the, um, it's because I got other tools. I think if I was so, if I was to remove the other tools, I'd be all right. <laughs> this is really weird. Okay, now we got it. We've done it. We've done it. Nailed it. Sorted. Uh, we'll put it down there like that. So there we've got our Aurora miniature. It's ready to go. Let me just go back in here, and I will put the flashlight back into that slot there because that's the one that I wanted on. And we're going to have a bite to eat a minute. And we're also going to put some food up in this one up here. i got to um, take one of those charged batteries because one of the batteries that I've got is flat. But only one of them. So we'll take that one and we'll drop it in. So I've still got four fully charged batteries, which are good. I've got a load of disinfected water and one first aid kit. I'm going to take another first aid kit with us. Thank you very much. And have we got another radio message? I don't think we have at the moment. No. Okay, we'll ignore that. I want to come down here. So I'm just going to eat enough food to bring my water supply back up. And then we're going to go off and look for the next bit. The next thing that we're going to look for is actually going to be out there. We're going to go... Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I was going to say we're going to go all the way back towards the island. But no, we're not going to go back towards the island. There's a deep cave down over there somewhere. I can't actually remember which direction it is exactly. But we're going to go towards the deep cave. And we're going to see what we can find down there. Oop, I didn't actually mean to take quite that many. 
just go into the planter and we'll put one of those back in there like that and then take one of those right that'll do for a minute Right, the bioreactor is filled back up again. We have 390 of 575 on our battery, which is absolutely superb, so it's still filling up. Shale chunk are being marked on this map over here. Now, if I just cancel that scanning a minute and we'll see what else we've got. We've got heat area, data box already looked for, metal salvage, I'm not interested in those. Reef back, sandstone, shale, and wreck. So, yeah, really, shale is the only one that I want to be finding. Uh, at the moment anyway so I'm just gonna leave that one hunting for those we've got nothing in our battle actually no what we we got the rebreather on at the moment we don't need the um, the other thing anymore we, we don't need the radiation helmet anymore that is all done with we don't need that so we've got a load more space now in our bags absolutely fantastic propulsion kit is the repulsion cannon that we're gonna be wanting to get later we don't need to worry about that at the moment We've got everything that we could possibly want. We've also got this one with a deeper Welcome crush depth. Aboard, Captain. Shale chunks are that way. Where's the other shale chunks? Should be some shale chunks down this way. I don't know where the other shale chunks are. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. This one's got eight left. I do... What's that noise? There's always noises here that keep making me nervous. But no, I've got a... Power cell. I've got a spare power cell, so we can change this one over when we need to. We just don't need to at the moment. We can come down through here. Now, I thought there were shale chunks down here, but maybe there aren't. We're going to come down in here, down into this deep, dark hole, and... Right, this. How far down does this thing go? How far down have we come previously? We got these mushrooms. I'm at 218. I'm already below my previous depth. I got a... You know, I'm thinking now that we didn't actually come down this far before. Or did we go... Did we come into this another way? Oh! Okay, that's... That's like lava and all sorts down there. We'll, we'll leave that. We've got... There's a little platform there. So where did I come in before? I thought I came in through that bit. And then I came over and I could see the thing that we wanted. Nope, that's volcanic activity down there. I don't want to... I, I, no, I really don't want to be getting involved with that. So where did I come in? No, uh, it was over a little bit further, wasn't it? It must have been. It must have been over further. I do have to be a little bit careful driving around here. There's those things there that seem to have... There's a definite roaring that is making me uncomfortable but it's not end of the world roaring at the moment now what happened to that base there was a Degassi base down here and I don't know where it's gone I'm sure it was around here so look look there they are there they are. I can hear I can, there's there's all kinds of unpleasantness going on around here um, how far do we need to go where's it gone there was a base here. I know there was a base here. I seen the base. I had a look at the base. We looked at it. We, we sat and hovered and stared at it and thought, wow, that actually looks really interesting. Um, what is on here? Now, can I get off of... Can, just look around carefully. Right, there's teeth up there. And there are teeth there. Can I do this? Can I jump out without dying? Big question. And I'm about to answer that question. Right, I'm looking around. I'm looking around very quickly. I don't actually see this starfish there, but I don't see anything that can be scanned. So let's go back in the sea moth. Um, it may not be the safest place to be in this sea moth, but at least it's safer than some places. Now, there's a whole load of shale chunks over that way. So maybe that is the way that we need to go. There's something else here. There's a big toothy thing above us. What is this? Okay, this is a small piece... Uh, what what are you? Yep. Look at the teeth on that thing. Are you trying to get in? Is he actually trying to get into my sea moth? I don't know what he's trying to do. He's gone over into his mushroom. Uh, right. I can. There's there's definitely things that I can do here. But the question is, do I want to risk it? 
People have told me that the prawn suit is not the way forward. I don't want to be going with a prawn suit in here. Let me just have a very quick look. If I go in here, is this, is this a safe place to be? There's nothing in here of any use whatsoever. Let me go back in the sea mob. Okay, right. Shale chunks. I'm looking for shale chunks because of... What am I looking for with the shale chunks? Oh, magnetite. I want magnetite. Right, what is that? Is that a shale chunk there? I don't actually know. Yes, it is. It's, um, and it is magnetite that I'm after. Ooh, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! Was something big? What is with the roaring and the nastiness? I can see spiky eggs there. There's a, a thermal uprising there, which I'm assuming is not great. And... I don't actually know where the exit for this place is either, which is not... A, this, this is also a bad thing. Where was the entrance to the cave, or the, the bit that mattered with, um... Because there was an entrance, and it had the Degassi base nearby. That is the bit that we want to find. I'm down to three on the power. I really don't want to run out of power right next to a mushroom, do I? Um, I also want to try and find... Right, my way out is up there. Now, I have no idea which way to go. Just changing the power cell very quickly while we can. There we go. Let's jump back in. I found a bit of gold there. Uh, I'm not going to go looking for anything else. Now, I'm going to just sort of float around and try and find this base that we looked at previously. And now, I've completely lost it. Oh, I think I may have found it. There we go. Right. Uh, I want to. I'm just going to go up a bit because, yes, this is definitely it. This is definitely the base that we were looking for, because uh, there is where we came down in. We literally just sort of came straight down towards it. So we know that that is there. There is a load of shale chunks over that way. Maybe there's the magnetite that we want, but that thing. I want that one to move. If we can just persuade that thing there to get out of the way, then everything will be a lot better. Why is he screaming at us? I don't like all the screams. Let's come down here. Right, there's more shale chunks down here. I'm going to go that way. I'm actually going to turn the lights off. And I'm going to climb out. Is this going to be something I regret? Shale outcrop and diamond. Oh, that was something. Can I get in? I can't get in there. I need to go in over this way. What is that? Uh, okay, I'm guessing that we don't want to touch those. Touching those is a bad thing. So let's just... A drooping stinger. Oh, great. Well, I already know that that is now a bad thing. Um, although my health has gone back up again. Let's do that. Oh, I can chuck them away. Okay, that is good. I can throw them away. I can move them out the way. Uh, what have I got? Uh, that's a that's a chair. Let's just move that one. That's another chair. Right, we got chairs. Now, the, the big problem i got to be aware of is running out of oxygen. That is going to be a really, really bad thing. I don't want to touch those stingers. I'm going to go back this way. I can get in and out now really easily. I'm going to take... This one, and I'm going to go right back over here. Enter the Seamoth. Enter the Seamoth. Right. We're safe here in the Seamoth. This is this is this is somewhere we're safe. Let me just inch forward a bit. And there's something on the ground there. I can see something down there. We want to just take a look at that. Is that that is a scannable item? There. Cell charger fragment. Oh, power cell charger. All oh, right. Ideal. No, you can get one of those. Okay. So we come through here. Cave. What did I just... I just seen something that I wanted to scan. It was, there was a scan. Is that a little fish? Not quite sure. There was definitely something that it was uh, looking at. Oh, there we go. Abandoned PDA. Let me go. No, 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 don't get me stuck. I seen something to scan. Why can't... It, it's, it's trying to show me something. I'm looking around here, and I don't see... I, I've seen it. There was something that was... This screaming is making me so nervous! 
<laughs> what is wrong? This game is messing with my head. Seriously, seriously messing with my head. Right, we've got Flora here, C. Uh, drooping Stinger, zero photosynth photosynthetic cells detected implies carnivorous adaptation to low light environments. Follicles along the tentacles are capable of detecting contact with foreign bodies, triggering an electromagnetic charge in a 600 watt range. Prey is likely paralyzed and consumed over many weeks. Assessment avoid. Yeah, okay, well, we kind of got that already. Uh, we've got a fauna right here, which is a small... Uh, that's the peeper. We already looked at those. Um, now, data download. Degassi survivors right here. we got a pecking order. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy... Why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Okay. There do seem to be some serious arguments and stuff going on with those Degassi survivors. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that now. What we want to do is we want to go back inside that thing. In here, hopefully, right, I keep getting like little glimpses of something that I can scan. I don't know if it's these starfish things. Um, I, I want to be careful of those. There, there is something, that is something that we want to scan. I don't know what that is. Uh, water filter, ooh, water filtration. Sweet. Is this an actual full blueprint? It's going to be so nice having a proper water source. There we go. Nice! Excellent! Right, press tab the view. I got a blueprint. Where is it? Where is it? It's going to be down here somewhere. Born suit, uh, repulsion cannon. Uh, power transmitter right there. Extends the range of a power source. That screaming is very disconcerting. Right. Oh, we need aerogel. Right, I'm still not sure how to make aerogel. I got 72 left for oxygen, so I'm going to have to go back, get the oxygen, and come back out again. Let's go over here, enter the sea moth, Welcome aboard, Captain. load up, and then go again. Right, now we're going to need to go reasonably quickly. I'm going to probably have to do this like this. Grab that. And then chuck it down that way. No, that's that's the wrong place. Chuck you down there. Bring it out this way. Chuck it down that way. Right, so if I can stuff them back down there, out the way, then they're not going to be an issue. And we come back to... Let's, let's have some light. Uh, can I go up here? This is where i got to be a bit more careful. Is I don't run out of oxygen while I'm up here. i got... Oh, that really scared me, that did. I thought he was coming for me. He is coming for me. He's trying to get me. Uh, achievement unlocked. Follow the Degassi. Right. Uh, I got 78 oxygen left. i got to be really careful. Right, I'm going to go down this. Uh, I'm going further in. Up. Oh, let's go in here. Do I want to go down this way? There's a tent... That, whoa! There's a lot of tentacle things in here. But no, there's nothing actually this side that I want. I need to go back to... Let's not... Um, enter the Seamoth. I'm, I'm getting very close to those jellyfish thing. But anyway, let's go in here. We'll see the data bank. We've got another one here. Uh, Degassi survivors. But Torgal's log, stalker teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. 
I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Okay, so he's quite the environmentalist and he is very keen to discover a lot more about the whole place. Is there anything else in there that we can still find? I'm not quite sure, so I'm just going to thoroughly explore the rest of the inside of it and then we'll see if there's anything else that's uh, that's worth getting. I don't think there is. I think we have now completely sort of found all of the blueprints in here. Um, all of the data. I'm going to look around very carefully though. I'll, sp I'll spend a few minutes just doing this a minute. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. We got, we got a whole new room down here that I missed. There we go. We've got, um, this must be Bart Torgol's room where he was, where he stayed. Careful of those. Careful of those. Our health does come back up once we touch them though. So, um, we can, we can sort of get away with it a little bit. Right. We've got open data back. Um, what's that? Uh, I'm not quite sure what that was, but I, I need to move these. I need to get these out of the way. Let's go. But I take, I'm going to chuck them over there like that. Okay, there's, there's the chair. I, I, I didn't really want to chuck. I wish they'd stop doing that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, there's, there's other things I want to, there we go. Right, get those out of the way. And you. Him over there, and then you as well. Right. That's more like it. Self so scan. Abandoned PDA. I'm going to go with the scanner. I'm going to take that one. Degassi voice log. Integrating new PDA data. All right. There's nothing else in here. I've... <laughs> nothing in here with me. I don't know if he's in here with me or not. I don't like it. I was just looking, I was just like frozen in terror for all oh, those, there's, there's another um, PDA thing over there. Can I get it? 30 seconds. Can I get it? Uh, I have to come back for it. I will come back for it. I, I'm not taking chances down here. I don't want to run out of oxygen. Get in the Seymour. We'll sit in here. We can take a look at this next one. we got one more. Uh, where is it? Another voice log here, the deeper. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Whoa. Okay, they really are having some issues here with authority and who's in charge and who's not and so on and so forth. Um, which is quite interesting, really. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to get back in there and we need to get... Violet's bow. No, we don't. We don't want that. We need to get past these stingers here, and to that PDA thing over there. There is a nasty, snaky type thingy over there that is very interested in me, and I don't like him. Um, let me take that and put him over there. It takes. I'm going to try and move these now over that way, like that. Move some of them out of the way. Now, if we if we got this is the problem. I'm not sure. I think I've done everything down there, so I can sort of take these now and I can chuck them down that way. Oh, if I'm careful. Come back here. Chuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, it's, it, 
if they're dead, are they okay? And what have I got in here? There's another one there, another PDA. Let's have some light. Right. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Paul Toggle's log number two. I've got another one over here. New PDA data. Paul Toggle's log number one. Ah, no! There's a great big worm out there beside my Seamoth. Uh, maybe I should turn the light off. Let's go back. Get in the Seamoth. Right. I feel I'm reasonably safe in here. I'm only on 65. It's 65 health, but I think we're reasonably safe. So let's just take a look at the next bits. Uh, we got Paul Toggle's log number one. Uh, no, Bart Toggle and Paul Toggle. I'm going, though. Before we go and look at these too much, I think it's time to move on. Let's just take a little look around. And see if there's anything else on here before we leave. That, actually, I think is an item that I want to get. So I'm going to have to jump out. I'm going to scan that right. The, the, the big fish is not there at the moment. Yes, I was right. I want to scan that. Thermal plate fragment. A thermal plant fragment. Have we got the thermal plant? Uh, no, we didn't have, but we do have now. That's excellent. Right, let's jump back into you. And... Oh, there's another bit down there. Is that also the thermal plant? And there's another bit down there. I reckon that this is all stuff that we want to get, so I'm going to have to let that uh, big nasty worm thing go. If you could please stay away from me, you nasty creature. I can go out here. Right, I think he's gone. Is he gone? I think he's gone. I'm looking. Oh, he's, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Right. Let's go through here. Nuclear reactor fragment. A nuclear reactor. That is actually pretty cool that we can get a nuclear reactor. We've got a thermal plant fragment. I've already got that one. Um, and then here we've got cargo. What's in here? Uh, what, what is that? Stasis rifle. Have I already... No, I don't think I did it. Did I have it? Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I already had that one. Right. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else for a second. Let's jump back in here. And we'll carry on looking around. We want to just go round this entire... Oops, steady, steady. I want to go round the entire structure. I've looked through there and I've looked through the top bits. I have looked through that entire structure. We've got, we've walked all the way through it. We've gone through it. There's something over there. Okay, there's a big nasty fish thing that is attacking us. Are you still attacking me? I'm sat... I don't really want to look. Right, I got the repair thing. If I jump out, is he going to get me? Where is he? No, he's not there. There, and repair. Let me just repair this one up really quickly. This is, I think this is the main priority. If I can repair that one all the way back up. Like that. Okay, that's repaired. Now I come over here, and we will go to you. Yes! Modification station! This is what I want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fluid intake is secondary at the moment. What's this? Stasis rifle I've already got. New blueprint acquired. I've got the modification station at last. That is what I've been waiting for. I can now make all sorts of things. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. He very nearly had me when I was outside of the Seamoth. That is not a good thing. Right. We've got the mod station. We've got a few other bits and pieces as well, and we've explored all of it down there. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I need to have a bit of water. We'll do that in a minute. Um, it's the aerogel. There is... I can't remember. Somebody did tell me how I'm supposed to get aerogel, and it's not actually that difficult, I don't think. Um, I just need to try and get it at some point soon. Let me climb up there. There we go. And up we go. We've done it. Look at all of the shale chunks that we've got highlighted over there. Right, uh, I'm going to ignore those. So that one is quite a long way away. I want to head back this way. Actually, let's just have a quick bit of water because that thing is flashing at us. We're going to look at the new information that we've got. Signs stabilizing. And then we're going to call it a day. And then in, next, uh, in our next episode, we're going to go and find the other wreck. We're going to take a radio beacon thing to the island where the big alien thing is. We'll, um, so we've got a, a beacon there. We can um, basically just tell ourselves where everything is. And then we're going to also try and find the wreck that is 
no, it's not that island, is it? It's over this way. Where is it? There. We're going to go that way. I think it's that way there that we want to go. We kind of want to go north, northeast. It's that direction to land to the big thing that we found. Um, that's. But anyway, that, that's all to worry about another time. We don't need to worry about that at the moment. So let me just come over to here. Switch this one off. Stop right there. Jump out. And in here. Welcome right. Aboard, We're down to 110. Does that mean that our power... Look Look at all of the shale chunks that we've got here. We can actually switch this one off a minute. Stop scanning. Right. Two of three. Limestone, lithium, magnetite I could do with. Um, but no, it's not that that I'm after. I actually want to look on here and I want to see if there's fragments. That's what I'd want to find. But I'm not going to look for fragments at the moment. Uh... No, 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 no. The only thing that we want to do right now is we've got... How much space have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I drink... Actually, I don't... Do I need to drink a bit of water? I was just thinking, no. What I'll do is if I go over here and I get... I think I've got some copper here somewhere. Do I have copper? Copper! I, I've got no copper anywhere. Where is the copper gone? i got magnetite, but I got, I got... Look at all the gold i got. i got loads of gold. All right, let's ignore that. So we will come over here, and I want to run down here. We're going to get a little bit of food. Pick up a couple of Chinese potatoes, and we'll go up here, and we'll dump them in here. This one is currently inactive, so I need to drop those in there. And we come back down again, and we'll get a couple of lantern fruits and put those in as well. Climb back up. Go into you, and... Oops, I didn't actually mean to eat one of them. I wanted to come over here. All right, let's get another one. There we go, another lantern fruit. I can, I can grab two. It's, it's going to be fine if we grab two of these because we can go back up here and we go into here. We put one in there and we eat the other one. Perfect. Climb down. There. Right. And we can look out across here. Anyway, what we want to do is we just want to very quickly look at the last couple bits. We've got Bart Toggle's log number one. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window, and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. <laughs> okay. He gives him the fuzzies. So, yeah, he really is the environmentalist of the group, and he has worked his way through. And then this one, number three, was uh, not very good. He, um, oh, they do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Um, so basically, things went very pear-shaped for him at the end. Um, we'll see. But we got one more. Is Paul Torgel's log, his you second one. You know what one. Mida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Mada thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. 
I thought I had another E.T. in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, a mortal. A maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> okay, so... Apparently, when your liver fails, you swap out for a new one and you can get another 80 years. That's not bad. So, they've obviously made some decent medical advancements, but, um, yeah, well, not while he's stuck on this planet. That's actually quite interesting, though. He's... There's loads and loads of stuff deeper. We need to get down deeper. We've got here 500 meters below sea level, and more than a kilometer northeast of where that base was. So we're just going to go back to that base. We can drop a radio point there as like a, um, a marker log, and then we'll be able to go from there north. Uh, yeah, northeast, one, about a kilometer, maybe a bit more. 500 meters below sea level, we'll find something else. We got big nasty things to deal with. This one will only go to 300 meters in depth, so we need to build a Cyclops. So that's something that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to try and find all the bits and pieces for a Cyclops so that we can get one built. Um, it's definitely going to have to be on our to-do list now. And I think that in our next episode, we're going to go back to the... Like I said, we're going to go back to the island. We're going to see what we can find over there. And we're also going to grab some... Uh, well, we're going to explore everything we can. I've been told there's a lot more to that island over there, so I will take as much space as I possibly can with the uh, like emptying everything out of my bags. I will take, yeah, all, all of this stuff. We'll take four batteries with us, one spare power cell, and then the rest of it, um, I'm hoping we'll be able to find some cool things while we're there. I really do hope so. And um, we'll also need to drop down a radio point so that we basically got something to... Um, a, a marker to be able to go back there in the future. We've got the cave wreck over there, so maybe that one is worth paying notice to as well. Uh, but anyway, we've run out of time today, so if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.